Hi, you guys. I am going to um, do a reading for you, and this is a general reading, so I am only picking up on the viewers of this video. If you're viewing this reading right now, um, I may get a little bit close and personal into your energy, all right? Um, the first thing I see here is the Six of Cups, okay? So there's someone here that you know, that you've known for a long time, all right? And the Ten of Wands is here. This person, they hide in the shadows. They hide their feelings. Their feelings are becoming very heavy, hard to you know, hard to hold back. What's really hard on this person is they keep thinking about you, all right? With the Six of Cups, someone keeps thinking about you and apparently it's not easy on them. It's like, why, why can't I get them off of my mind? All right, you guys, let's see what's going on. This information right here, it's in the shadows. It's something that you don't see right now. All right, the next card you have is the Two of Wands. This is someone who um, is just walking through life, doing their day-to-day -day thing, doing what they're supposed to do. But they carry that burden around. They keep thinking about you, whoever this is. It's like, this is someone who's already lost the battle, okay? The five, the five of Pentacles, it's a five. Someone who you don't have any communication with this person. There's no conversation going back and forth. You have the Page of Wands here. This is a page, okay? So this is not someone sending a message. This is someone who's thinking about sending a message. And we're going to get a little bit deeper into this as we go along here. And then you have the Eight of Cups. They are... Um, this card shows someone walking away in the distance, but I feel like... This person is in a different situation in their life, and these cups are still standing here. So they're, whatever it is in their life, it's like they're emotionally not connecting with the life that they're in right now. They, they want something else. That's why there's two wands here. All right, and then you have the Six of Wands in the center of your reading. And this person, they, they're obsessed with you. It's like they put you up on some type of pedestal. All right. You have the star, too. Wow. All right. Whoever this person is, you make them feel vulnerable, all right? They feel very vulnerable when it comes to sending you a message or speaking to you. They're intimidated by your energy and who you are. They're very, very attracted to you. This person thinks you are beautiful. Okay, and then you have the Ace of Wands. This is a seed. This is the idea of what could be to go back in time with the Wheel of Fortune. What happens next, spirits? The Five of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, this person, they're so attracted to you. They're so drawn in by you. I feel like they're very drawn to you. Um, 
maybe by something that you create, something that you do here. You're an empress. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It's like um, there's there's the way that you build the world around you. Um, the there's this energy coming from you of someone who's easygoing. And they feel like with the Five of Swords, I picked up on the same energy up here. I, I had the Five of Swords come through my mind when I pulled out the Five of Pentacles where there's no communication. The energy of someone here who feels like they've lost the battle to win your heart, to win you over, but they're still fighting an internal battle here. Yeah, this person wants this soul connection right here with the Six of Cups. They they keep thinking and thinking and thinking, you know, about this energy here. We have the Queen of Cups representing you. You are an empress here. Um, and how beautiful life would be if they could be in your life. This is someone who wants to be in your life for the long run. This is not someone who's just attracted to your physical appearance, although they very, very much are. They're attracted to you and who you are. And I feel like you have this very free spirit. Spirits, why is the Two of Wands here? Hold on, you guys. Let's get... Why is the Two of Wands here? The Ace of Swords keeps wanting to show up. I'm telling you, with the World card here, this person feels stuck because... The chapter of your life, I don't know who you were in this person's life, but the chapter has ended, all right? And the Ace of Swords is next to it. Like, this person, they keep thinking about you as they move on, and they keep doing their day-to-day -day thing, what they're supposed to be doing, and there's a block there's no communication i don't know if the communication is blocked why is the five of pentacles here i can tell you this person feels very awkward all right about um coming and telling you the truth it feels very foolish to them and so they suffer in silence we have Libra energy here with justice and the fool is Aries energy. And so all they do is they think. That page energy, they think. The five of cups about some regret that this this is a card of regret. They're regretting um not taking the chance when they had it because they were in their ego with the emperor energy showing up. Tell me why the eight of cups is here. The ace of wands. There's something in their life here that there's no passion. All right. There's no attraction here. Tell me why the six of wands is here. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. I feel like you've, since you've, I feel like this is someone that you've known throughout the years, okay? But there's someone here that, um, with the Six of Wands, it's like you have really moved forward and done a lot of work here and you've, placed yourself in a very high position here in your life to where you could be there could be public rec recognition even um 
with the star and the six of wands. Tell me why the star is here. The ten of swords. But you got to the place where you're at right now because of the pain that you've been through in your life. And this person daydreams about you. All right, there's this daydreamy energy about the two of you being together. But with the Queen of Swords showing up here, you are someone, even though you don't show it on the outside, on the inside, you're someone who's very hurt, okay? You've been through a lot of pain in your life. And whoever this person is that is infatuated with you, they... um. They know that about you and they they understand you and there's they admire you so much like I feel like I I may be coming across here like as if um I'm flattering you using more f flattering words that you could be thinking that but I can't even put it into words how much this person is attracted to you. All right. And it is a soul connection here. So <clears throat> this is definitely someone that you have a soul contract with. And I feel like you, like they understand you. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. Okay, so you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and you have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, even the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You guys, someone's coming towards you fast. <coughs> <coughs> At least they want to. They want to have everything with you. They feel like they're walking through some type of karma in their life. I feel like this person way back then, if you weren't married to this person um, already, this is someone who, who always wanted to have it all with you. But all they could do was... Um, was... Um, I, let me, I'm thinking of a song. Hold on. That's as close as I'll get to loving you. They couldn't show you their feelings. Tell me why the Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like it's forbidden for this person to show you their feelings. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I kind of feel like this is this energy that I'm picking up on. This is someone that you think about from time to time, okay? But with the Nine of Wands energy here, it's like you have so many walls up around you. You would never, never reach out to this person. Tell me why the Empress is here. See? They just keep going back in time again when they think of you. It's like this is this is something that is an old fight. Why is the three of cups here? Five of wands. Is someone fighting an inner battle with themselves. Judgment is here. There's no judgment here. They feel stuck. They just keep holding on. They're fighting an inner battle as they hold on to the one wand. But they know what they what has been left behind in this lifetime. And this person always has felt like it's you. Okay? I'm picking up two different types of energies here. And I definitely feel like for most of you guys, this is someone that you've known throughout the years, okay? But it's 
It's like there's this sense here of not being able to tell you how they feel. Tell me why the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is here. The Eight of Swords. Their thoughts, they had many thoughts of you, but they weren't able to act on their thoughts. They weren't able to express their thoughts. This is the energy I picked up on for you guys today. Leave me a comment and let me know if you know who this is because it's a very strong energy coming through here of someone here that they have thought about you through the past. I kind of want to say through the years, but um, they never, they never ever released this Eight of Swords energy, the thoughts that they have of you. Okay, they couldn't. It's almost it it was forbidden. Um but right now at this time that you're watching this reading, um this person is seriously thinking that maybe pride isn't worth it anymore. And they're really thinking about reaching out to you here. That's why judgment is here. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for taking the time to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.